Hello everyone, it's Arthur back with another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my uh, kind of state of the union of the Raiders, kind of how they're doing so far this year, how the rest of the season might go. Um, this, this this was supposed to be a video where I kind of just sat back and talked about whatever, you know, what, about whatever came to mind, but um, that video uh, has some technical issues. So now in this video, I'll be, you know, pretty much talking about the same thing, but except planning what I would actually say. So let's get into it. You know, the Raiders are sitting in the bye week at one and four, obviously not a very good record. Um, but they have lost um, by 14 combined points um, in all their four losses. You know, obviously lost a lot of close games. You know, it is a good sign. It's, it's also not a good sign because, you know, at least they, they haven't been playing like a terrible team. However, they have been losing close games. The only reason they got in the playoff last year is because they won close games. The only reason teams do good in the league is if they can win close games. You know, you're probably not going to win most of your games by um, more than one possession. So, um, or at least comfortably, comfortably by like two or three. Um, you know, or you know, bowling teams are probably going to have to win the game in the clutch, and that's not what we've done, what we've done this season. Now, there is the thing of well, you know, the Raiders have a way easier schedule after this point. That is true. Um, you know, we play some of the worst teams. However, two uh, things are that are still in negative about that. Um, one, you know, other teams may view us as an easy game. Even the Texans might view us as a winnable game. You know, for them to try to get their second win of the year, they have a better record than us right now. But other teams view view us as a winnable game. And second, even if we do, you know, go on a big run, the five uh, games um, to start our season, or I think we can all agree, you know, a tough st um, five games like, you know, like the teams you're playing. Um, you know, and we only won one of them, and it was against the Broncos. So. Um, you know, when you played five good teams, I guess one of them was not that good, but a, a good, like, five, um, a difficult first five games, you only won one of those games. Um, you know, that really shows how, how they might do against good teams. So, you know, you, see, you know, if we do go on a run in this kind of middle part of our season, we still have, you know, some tougher games to play at the end of the regular season. And, um, you know, if we do get into the playoffs, we're going to be playing good teams, obviously. Now, offensively, Darren Waller has been a huge disappointment so far. Um, you know, now is on, now is injured. You know, to, to stack onto bad performances, um, and and they're pretty much injuring the same part of his body last year, which kept him out for you know like five games, six games, I believe five games. The sixth game he missed was an earlier uh, thing in the season. And, um, you know, he has not done well at all, even after you know, and, you know, getting his big contract, um, and you know, being healthy going into the season. So. We'll see what happens. I mean, actually, I don't know if he was fully healthy going through the season, but I mean, he was clearly healthy enough to start weeks one to five. But um, he has not done good. Honestly, I think Foster Moreau, um, if he starts against the Tex, I mean, he probably will. He'll be back from injury. I think Foster Moreau has looked better this year. I think that's why when Moreau and Waller were both healthy, you kind of saw like a 50-50 mix of, out, of who was out there. Moreau is probably a better blocker too. Uh, maybe, I mean, I, don't, I doubt it, but maybe in the offseason they move Waller and extend um, or re-sign Moreau. I mean, anyway, I think I do think we have to keep, try and keep Moreau. He is very good. Renfro has been, you know, obviously missed time. Three fumbles in about three, four, in about three, he played three games this year. Three fumbles, two lost. Sorry, one lost um, fumble. Um, but he, you know, he hasn't been his Pro Bowl version, but you know, he wasn't last year to start the year anyway. He really got most of his great production at the end of the year. And then Matt Collins has been a surprise, but the last two weeks, not as much um, of, you know, the same production. You know, I think that could have been expected. You know, he was not going to keep up that amazing performance. He was not going to keep doing, doing amazing performances, but he still is a good player for us. And then, you know, Devontae Adams has been going off. Um, I don't think he I don't think he has any trouble with this offense right now. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he's doing his thing. Obviously, the, the court date, you know, we'll see what happens. It's, it's set for November 10th, so he will play in the Texans game, the, the Saints game, and the Jaguars game. We'll see what happens with the core case, you know, going forward, you know, with the games after that. Um, but yeah, and they're and they're a car, and it has been pretty nice this season. I won't say pretty nice. He had a pretty rough start. I mean, in week one, he was, it was a terrible game. Week two, it was like a, like a I'm not going to say a good game. Statistically, yeah, but not really. He didn't do anything in the second half. Tennessee, I think he had a good game. Denver, he didn't have to do much. The Chiefs, I think, had a good game. So he has been okay for us. I think been getting better. The offensive line, I will say, is very, very good at run blocking this year. Very surprising. Um, and I think their pass blocking isn't very good, but not as horrible as I expected it to be. Dylan Parham looks like a great, looks like a great rookie right now. Ollie James looks like a great center, as I thought he would be. Um, Cole Miller looks like, you know, a great left tackle, as we all know he is. And then, you know, I love the decision of not playing Simpson. I really did not like John Simpson. Alex Boris has been serviceable enough. Luminor has been serviceable enough. Darren Munford, you know, I think, I know people love him. I like him too, 
but um, he, 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 you know, it's not, I mean, like, I'm not gonna rip on him. He has not been good, though. I'm gonna give him some leeway and say, well, he is a rookie, but that's why I'm saying he shouldn't be on the field because he's a rookie and he's playing, you know, pretty bad early on. Is it excusable? Yes, because he's a rookie and playing early on as a seventh round rookie. But he doesn't mean I'm gonna say he's playing well because I don't, I don't see him playing well at all. The offense, however, I feel like it's just to be way better than how it is actually doing. Um, uh, I thought we'd be an amazing passing offense. It doesn't really look that way. Waller's not been getting involved. Renfro's not been getting involved. Adam Taz. Jacobs has been a really good receiving back and a really good running back. You will 100% continue to see us feeding Jacobs the way we did. I mean, last week we did that, and last week and week four we had a whole game plan for it. Bring a sixth alignment in, fullback Jakob Johnson, and we're just running with Jacobs. It looked really good the last two weeks. Um, well, I guess last two games because um, last week we were on a bye week. But I hope we can we can continue to do that because I mean I don't see anyone stopping it right now. Um, that that going into games doing that I think is what's gonna give us points early on. We, we, have, we just have to ma be able to maintain the lead once we do get them. And you know, the, the other running backs in your duels role has been like, disappeared since like week two, um, even though I think he can pretty much do the same thing as Bolden and he's probably faster. Um, Bolden has been getting, you know, overall a nice amount of work, but I feel like it's been decreasing since about week uh, two, maybe three. Um, and then, you know, Zimmy Wright really, um, I thought he, in week five he, he'd have a nice role after having a big run in week four. He had a one rush from negative seven yards. I don't think he played an offensive snap the rest of the game. With Zimmy Rai, it's very, um, I think, situational. Like he, he's, I've seen him out there like one snap a game, um, and you know, that one snap. I think I, I don't think I've seen a Zimmy Rai um, play this season where he had, he didn't get the ball. I saw a play where he was down on the field, but there was a penalty against the Titans. But um, I don't think you know he, he's, he's ever been on the field and had to pass or, pass or take the runner out. I feel like it's always gone to him. Um, so, you know, that's interesting. Defensively, Patrick Graham, I think, is doing really good. We still have a lot of holes in this defense, but they are still playing overall really well. I guess the Chiefs did not really hold up well, and the first half did. The Challenge Jones, I will say, the last two weeks, has I have seen improvement. The first three weeks, not only were bad, but there was, like, really no improvement. Week four was a solid game. Week five was a really good game. And he, I mean, he, I mean, he wasn't as good in the second half, but he was pretty much dominating the first. Run blocking, pretty much the whole game, he was dominating. Pass, pass rushing, we saw that too. Crosby, obviously, one of the best defensive ends in the league. Um, glad we have him. Nate Hobbs was balling. Week five, he was not good, but, you know, he did have the cast on. But I'm not going to say he was good because um, he wasn't but the rest of the season he was good and he'll, he'll probably continue to do that once he gets back um, he's first eligible to come back week 11 against never and then rocky scene has also been absolutely balling um it, it was great to see now um, what's not kind of fun is that we do have to pay him a lot of money not a lot of money but you know we have so many players we have to pay uh, you know i'd love to keep him, on, keep him on the team i think we should i think we will but you know more and more guys they have to pay um you know jacobs obviously is another guy that I did not mention us paying, but I did mention how he's been playing well, and obviously that might warrant a new contract, whether it's from us or another team. And then um, Meek Robertson pretty much got benched last week. I mean, he is still playing pretty solid, definitely his best career year, definitely the most that he's ever offered um, defensively. Um, and Stan Webb looks like he might really have some promise out there. The secondary, the passing defense has been salt, has been, has been, let's say average probably. Like I haven't been impressed, but they have been holding enough. Um, we haven't really allowed many deep plays from what I remember. We, you know, haven't really made the most plays though, which I kind of should have expected. Um, you know, we, don't, we only have, I believe, two turnovers forced this year. Um, and and Mikro, no, I believe three actually. Maybe, maybe three. But they've been doing enough, but I still don't know. If, I mean, at least Yasin has been playing like a corner one, so is Hobbs. That was my biggest concern going into the year. And, you know, we have two guys playing like corner ones right now. Um, you know, we have other guys uh, at options there. Everett's gonna come back, although I don't really trust him at all. Um, but you know, he's he's at least it's a it's a great time to have him back. However, it feels like the same thing that I've experienced for like as long as I've been a fan. And I feel like every team has this: one guy comes off IR, the next guy comes on IR. Everett, it's great to have him back, but with you know Hobbs going down, that's a downgrade going from Hobbs to Everett. I don't even know if I can trust Everett to start, but now he pretty much has to. It looks like he will be able to go against the Texans which we know we do need them pretty badly. They do have about three good receivers over there. Um, two, well, I guess two good ones, one pretty solid one, and Chris Moore, he is questionable for that game. But pass defense has been all right. Pass rush has been nice. Run defense has been good, but the linebacker and core has not been very good. Perryman got banging up twice. Luckily came back the second time, did not miss any games, has been balling. Um, Devon Diablo has not been that good. I mean, I haven't seen him. I mean, he looks like the same Diablo from last year, which, you know, he wasn't bad last year when he was starting, but. We need to see, we, he is a second year player. We do need to see some improvement, you know. Um, his coverage, I haven't seen him really improve there. Jayon Brown has been a total bust. No, no, 
no offense, I mean, he has not been able to cover anything, and he's apparently a coverage linebacker, as I also hype him up to be. But yeah, our defense is, um, you know, in most games, played better than our offense. In week five, that was the opposite. However, our offense has too much talent to be um, playing. I'm not gonna, this At this level, I think they could, be, they could be playing a lot better. The defense, they honestly are, I think, outperforming their talent. Patrick Graham is very good. Now, it comes down to Josh McDaniels because I do think he is what is holding the Raiders back right now. I said it, I believe, after the Arizona game. I don't know if the Raiders can improve with McDaniels as head coach. Um, I would love them to, but I, it just looks a little, a little, a little, I don't know how to describe it. But it is, we're kind of stuck in a bad spot right now. Um, I, I can see it's making a push, but, you know, it is really thin right now. I do think we can make a run. However, right now it's kind of looking, you know, thinner, as I said, because, um, you know, even though we, you know, can win some games, and we have a good team, you know, we're still at a run and four, very behind in the AFC, you know, we're the last seed in the AFC, so the 16th. We would need to win a lot of games and, um, you know, have those big, and we already don't have some of these big tiebreakers um, that we lost, you know, now, early in the early part of the season. Just like the Colts last year, they had a really good, very, really bad start to the season, looked like a really tremendous team in about most, most part of last year, but um, last two games they lost and didn't make the playoffs because of the games they lost that were close in the beginning part of the year. But anyway, that was kind of my Raiders State of the Union so far this season. Um, how they have been, how they've been playing the first five weeks, how the season can go. I'm Martin. Thank you for watching.